Scholars Unbound is a bi-monthly podcast or video series that showcases the voices of scholars who know no boundaries when it comes to the pursuit of knowledge. You will hear insights from their experiences as international scholars and how these influence their research, hoping to inspire future scholars to be fearless, global, and unbound. I'm your host, Dalia Simangan. What a year it has been. As I mentioned in the previous episode, and if you have been following this little project, I started this podcast in September of last year. Why? I have several reasons. First, I have been a listener of academic-related podcasts, and some of them also talk about the challenges and strategies in working in academia. But I haven't found one yet that specifically talks to people of color, of minority ethnic groups, to scholars from the global south like me. Of course, I find those podcasts tremendously helpful as I navigate this academic world, but I was longing for something that talks to my unique struggles as someone who is a first-generation scholar, a female from a developing country without connection to the big shots in my field, a non-native English speaker with a persistent self-doubt. I felt like I have to make extra effort to be heard, to be understood, and to be valued. And I'm sure I'm not alone in the struggles and that there are probably other people out there who are experiencing one or two or all of these things. This brings me to my second reason. I thought that through this podcast, we can share our experiences and cheer each other up, give each other advice, and most importantly, amplify our voices and cement our places in academia. We can create a community that will support each other, rejecting the culture of scarcity and competition that we were trained to believe in, and instead cultivate a culture of sharing, of cooperation, and of mutual learning. Four years ago around this time, I moved to Japan to start my postdoctoral fellowship. I was so lucky to find an opportunity that will allow me to continue working on my research. But most importantly, it was an opportunity for having a source of income perhaps even more than having an academic career at that time. Despite some of the discouraging experiences I had during that time, I thought maybe I can try for an academic career in the long run. A year and a half after I started my postdoc, I found myself here at Hiroshima University with a tenure-track position researching and teaching peace studies. Again, I must recognize the string of luck I had. I was at the right place at the right time, talked to the right people at the right institutions. I am forever grateful to those people, reviewers, interviewers, professors who gave me a chance. Although luck played a huge role in my academic path, I need to say that it also took a lot of courage and hard work because of my background and personal struggles. And my experience is not unique. I know many scholars who had the same journey, and I wish to share our experiences through the Scholars Unbound project. I'm thankful to people who spared some of their time to be interviewed, especially during this pandemic, and share their experiences with us. I learned a lot from them, and I hope you did too. I really hope that some of you found the conversations and reflections in this platform useful in navigating your own journey within and beyond academia. And if you find this podcast helpful and you wish to contribute to helping me continue and expand this project beyond the podcast, I set up a Patreon account that I will link in the show notes. Your contributions will go to some of the initiatives I will be planning for next year. These initiatives will be tailored to building and developing the skills necessary for the professional development of students and early career scholars from our Scholars Unbound community. For the next season, I'm planning to cover the basics of the many things that we are expected to know, execute, and execute well as a researcher and scholar, even though we didn't receive proper or formal training on them most of the time. It will include topics on the different stages of academic journal publication, publishing your first book, conceptualizing and writing grant proposals, presenting and organizing in academic conferences, and communicating our research to communities outside academia. I will work hard to bring you experts on these topics to walk us through the basics, provide some advanced tips, and even answer your questions. In addition to these skills-building initiatives that I will tie into our regular episodes, I will still continue highlighting the many issues that we face in academia and how we can overcome them or change them. 
if you are a student or early career who wish to develop these skills, or if you are someone at any level of your career working within or outside a university setting and you think you are looking for updating your skills, you might be interested in being one of the members of the first cohort of the Scholars and Bound program. I have to say that I'm still at the preliminary stage of planning, but I would like to have a sense of how many people are interested in being a part of this free professional development program. If you're interested, please visit daliasimaman.com slash scholarsunbound and complete a simple form so that you will be included in the mailing list once I finish refining the program details. Thank you again for your support. I hope I will hear from you. And I look forward to connecting with you again in a brand new season next year. Thank you for listening to this episode. Please consider leaving a comment or rating at iTunes or any of your preferred podcast hosting platforms. For details about upcoming episodes and how to support the Scholars Unbound project, visit daliasimangan.com slash scholarsunbound with the link in our show notes.